Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. It's your girl Keonti and I'm about to get all up in our business and love, family, career, general, whatever ends, ends up coming out. If it resonates for you, my beautiful baby sharks, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. If you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is in the description box below. Remember, this is energy, guys. So if you're watching for a Pisces, it can resonate completely from your perspective, okay? But if I get it right for you, don't hurt to give me the like, comment, subscribe, or the share. And again, if you're interested in booking me, reach out to me via email. I'll provide that information in the description box below. All right, what's the incoming energies for the baby shark spirit? What's going on? What's coming in for Pisces? Make it plain for me. What's incoming for Pisces here, spirit? Strength. Now, this was our, this was our energy yesterday, right? You, some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo page of Pentacles, but there's there's an energy of definitely having to persevere and push through and plan, right? There could be a situation dealing with children or finances, right? There could be a situation where you're needing to plan something. Dealing with your stability, your home, and your finances, right? But strength, I feel like this is definitely that energy where somebody's in control, right? They're taming the beast. They're taming their lust. They're definitely having to show some courage and they're having to show some perseverance. You could be dealing with the Leo or an earth sign. Yep, there's the king of pentacles here. Pisces, for some of you, this is just dealing with your finances and your stability. This could be dealing with the masculine energy, though, a king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be a masculine energy. Getting ready to push through because there's something here about an investment. This is eight pentacles. He's working on something here. Put yourself where you go in a scenario. You could definitely be dealing with an earth sign. But this is dealing with money, with issue with um matters dealing with money, stability, coins, right? Mm, the lovers, you could be dealing with the Gemini. Some of you definitely have someone getting planning to come through and push through and invest in you, right? Mm, it could be a Gemini, it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, it could be a Leo. Okay, how does Pisces person or the external source sees the situation? How's the external source? What's the, what's the external source energy in this situation? This could be love. This could be about work. Just, just put it where it goes because I'm just i not sure just yet. We'll know. How does the external source see this for Pisces? The lovers. There it goes again. You could be dealing with a Gemini here. The queen of wands. The four of swords and the devil. Pisces, I feel like for some of you, you have someone coming in. It could be a fire sign. It could be a Gemini. The lovers is definitely hot and heavy energy, right? The queen of wands is all about someone. The queen of wands is like magnanimous, right? She's motivated. She's beautiful. She's passionate. There could definitely be no lack of attraction or emotion. I feel like some of you have a soulmate that sees you this way or you them, right? And they're, and they're ready. The four of swords, the devil, someone could definitely be... Some of you, your person could see you as like a soulmate here. They see they see that you guys have some sort of divinely co guided connection. They could want to heal something for you, with you. They could be very motivated to heal something toxic with you. They could be obsessed with you right now, Pisces. They really could. They could really want to come towards you and they could be obsessed with this. There's something about some sort of toxicity. If you're not dealing with a Capricorn, there could be some obsession. There could be some um, toxicity, some drug abuse. Right, the devil is, is something that's extremely binding. And when I see the devil and the lovers here, there could be two connections here. I always tell you guys, when the devil and the lovers are near each other, for me, there could be one connection that's very divinely guided and spiritual, and then there could be a connection to something else that is toxic here, right? Six of Cups here, this is definitely dealing with soulmate energy. If this is not just dealing with you and family and children. Yep, Ten of Pentacles, this is definitely dealing with soulmate energy, family, stability, past life. Past love, children, and family. Yeah, Pisces. Let's see. Let's go. Where's Pisces at in this situation? How does Pisces see this situation? Where's the Pisces at in this situation, spirit? Where's my baby sharks? The four of wands. The three of pentacles. Pisces, right now you are focused on unions that are well balanced and fruitful. The four of wands is all about the 11, 11, right? A divine union. Like, and, and my other deck is perfect work, right? So this is when all involved are putting in equal amount of effort and energy into a union. And three of pentacles, I feel like you are, this is what you are focused on. You are focused on the equally yoked union that's built on solid ground with the three of pentacles here. Someone could definitely see you as a divine partner here, Pisces, and they're getting ready to push through. They could definitely be having to hold themselves back for whatever reason. If someone is dealing with, like, drug abuse, right, this could be somebody, like, trying to get clean or detox, right? I feel like somebody is trying to push through with something because someone sees you as a soulmate. 
you're focused on a on a on a equally yoked partnership here and somebody could see you as a divine counterpart and somebody that they could build something with yep there's an ace of swords coming in about this pisces yep there's been a conflict and there's been a conflict behind waiting there's been a conflict behind so that, like there could be a bit of a power struggle that have been between you and this person for some of you this person you were ready to do something and this person wanted to wait this person could have been investing in something else a karmic situation but the wheel of fortune is turning here now Pisces, you could also be feeling like you're not going to invest in a situation anymore, right? You're looking for a perfect union, something to be built. You don't want to wait anymore. Some of you are turning your back on a karmic connection here. I see it. What's the obstacle in this situation for Pisces? What's the obstacle here? Someone could be extremely stubborn and they're having a hard time getting out of their, their way. They want to come towards you. They're trying to hold themselves back. The Ten of Wands, dropping some sort of heavy burden. I told you, someone could definitely be like trying to hold themselves back and it's causing them a burden because they could see you this way. The Three of Pentacles. Someone could be dropping a connection here. Someone could be letting the, letting, letting the burden of a, of a foundation or connection go. Yep, Ace of Swords. Yep, Five of Wands. Someone is, someone is letting go of some sort of power struggle. They're relinquishing. Someone could definitely be relinquishing here. I, I'm getting relinquishing, right? It's the Ace of Swords here. It's definitely happening here. And it has something to do with the connection. Because there's been some sort of power struggle and tug of war. I have a feminine energy that's extremely cold. That's being unemotional about a situation. She's only seeking justice. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yep, some of you have definitely had to heal from something. You are motivated because you're, you're, you're having to heal from something. What's the outcome here for the baby sharks in this situation? What's the outcome here for the baby sharks? The hangman. You stay, you stay and put until you get enlightened, right? You finally getting the message. You finally staying stuck. And not, not stuck, but staying put until you get enlightened, right? Some of you are definitely like, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to I'm gonna let go of something else. I'm going to sacrifice and I'm going to sit till I get what is coming to me with the Six of Pentacles. There is something coming here. There's a blessing coming for, for you, Pisces. Pisces, I feel like you've learned something. Like you you've, you've could have been stuck in some sort of cycle, but you've gotten enlightened right now Pisces Pisces you are enlightened about something I feel like you are in your power I feel like you have some sort of blessing coming the six of pentacles in the sun it could be coming from a Leo it could be coming from work right or Taurus here two of pentacles seven of swords king of swords there there is something here I see something here there's a masculine energy here that is strategizing about something here right there's been some sort there's a conflict there's a masculine energy that is strategizing about a conflict. I see a lot of you getting some sort of blessings to be work, right? You could be going, you could be going after a new job. Some of you are definitely going after a new job here, right? I can see that. For some of you, you're staying, you're staying, you're kind of staying put until you get a well, like the six of pentacles, you get a um, you get an offer with with the sun, like you get an offer that's that's balanced, right? Some of you are kind of holding out for a real connection with some real stability, something that's gonna go, um, that's gonna that's gonna align with what your belief systems and your values, right? Some of you definitely have a past person plotting and strategizing on how to come back into you. I see it. They're keeping this to themselves and they're waiting. Some of them are in a karmic situation here. They have gotten in a karmic relationship. They could be trying to get out. I have to tell you that because I see it. Okay. But just put yourself where you're going as baby sharks. Let's go ahead and clarify why it's strength here for Pisces for the incoming energies. I feel like you're in power. You're in control for sure. You could definitely be dealing with the Leo. The Ten of Wands, see? I'm burdening yourself. Justice. Yep. Someone is in power and control. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Libra or a Leo. But someone it's unburdening themselves. They're pressing through. They're persevering. They, they're having the courage to do it. They're in control. They're going to unburden themselves. They're only looking for justice, right? Only looking for what's right, right? Someone could definitely be getting ready to get what they deserve. Judgment. For some of you, this could be something legal going on that's getting ready to come in because here's victory and success after it, right? Some of you are definitely letting go of the burden of a connection that's very intense, right? Very close and intense, but you're doing right by yourself. You're recognizing that you got to do right by yourself in this situation, why is the lovers here for Pisces person or the external source? Pisces, I hope I can remember the title. You got to do what you got to do in this situation, Pisces. I feel like you are Princess of Cups. I feel like there's some sort of offer coming in. Six of Cups. See, there's some of you, there's a soulmate that wants to come back and offer an apology. There's a deep connection with the lovers. Some of you, this is twin flame shit, for real. Past life soulmate connections. When you got children with someone. 
But there could definitely be someone from the past here, right? The Six of Cups and the Lovers. There could be something. Someone could want to make an apology or a love offer here. The Fool. Yep, I feel like someone wants to come back and take a big leap towards you. They see you as a soulmate. The Five of Cups. They disappointed you. And now you're only focused on, on your money and your stability and shit like that, right? Mm. Why is the Four of Wands here for how Pisces see it? Pisces, you want a, you want a union that's going to be stable, that's going to be balanced, where there's going to be equal give and take in the partnership, right? Everybody's putting in the, the same amount of work, the world. Yeah, Pisces, you, you've learned some lessons, right? There is some cycles closing out. There's some lessons that you've learned, right? You could definitely be teaching someone a lesson here on how to treat you. Pisces, you could be teaching someone how to treat you, the fool, but you're definitely going in a new direction. Some of you feel like you're not going to be a fool for somebody anymore, and you're going in a new direction. You learned your lesson. Some of you are teaching someone a lesson. It is a soulmate connection here with love and the five of cups that disappointed you, and now you're focused on building something st solid, stable, and abundant. Why is the ten of wands the obstacle here? This is dropping that heavy burden. The Ten of Pentacles, two tens. So for some of you, there is some sort of union ending here. Somebody is dropping a heavy burden of a union, the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, the Page of Wands, and, and someone's getting ready to go in a, new, in a new direction. The Lover, some of you, somebody's getting ready to reach out to you because of this, or you're doing this, and you're you're going in a new direction, and you're leaving a Lover. Somebody definitely only wants equal give and take, and I see an Ace of Swords coming in because of this. Why is the hangman and the outcome here for Pisces? The, Pis the, the outcome is you learning some sort of lesson, I feel like, Pisces. You learned something in this. You got enlightened. Something could have kept you stuck, but you're, you won't be stuck. You won't be stuck much longer because you've gotten enlightened. You've learned something here. Mm. The Ace of Wands. Pisces, you are getting a new beginning. You have learned something. You are getting some new beginning here. You have, There's a new spark coming in. There's new passion. That's the Ace of Wands coming in. Look, Six of Cups. For some of you, there is a soulmate that's getting ready to come back. You could have taught this soulmate a lesson. Or this soulmate had to learn a lesson. I see you in power and control in this situation, oh, Pisces. The, the only obstacle is letting go of a connection. However, this is going to go. Someone is dropping the burden of a connection here. You'll have to let me know who it is, Pisces. It could be you or your person, but that's how I'm seeing it. Pisces, I love y'all. I thank y'all for entrusting, believing me, supporting me, booking me, allowing me the opportunity. If you comment on what is going on, I will definitely read it and respond. I love you guys. Continue to take care of yourselves, and I'll bring you a message very soon. Bye, Pisces.